Hello Manic Fam, and welcome back to my channel, Telekinetic Maniac. Uh, my name is Mad Dog, and on this channel, cosplay is life. <laughs> Just kidding, but I do a lot of cosplay related things on this channel, and today we are going to be talking about how to prepare for a cosplay location photo shoot. While I am definitely making this video with location photo shoots in mind, like that's that's why I titled it for, for location photo shoots. <laughs> like most of my other videos, all of the tips that I bring up in this video can really be applied to other situations. So if you happen to only do things like convention photo shoots, fear not, this video should not be a complete waste of your time. Before we super get started, I just want to throw out there in advance that I will be giving advice as both a cosplayer and as a photographer, because I have worked behind and in front of the camera a whole heck and a lot at this point. Wow. Like, I mean, I guess not nearly as much as, like, professionals, but I'm, I'm not inexperienced. But yeah, so I just wanted to say that at the beginning before anybody was all like, wait, I thought you were just a cosplayer, when suddenly I'm speaking from photography experience. Also, before we get started, uh, I still haven't gotten a haircut and I'm sorry that you have to look at my hair. <laughs> my, my shaved sides are now so bad that I can tuck them behind my ear. That's, it's a new low. <laughs> it's a new low in my life. <laughs> anyway, alrighty, let us get started. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to need to do to prep for a location photo shoot is to actually find a photographer to work with. It's like a uh, step negative one, but all right, let, let, let's, let's go, let's do this. <laughs> to find an elusive photographer, <laughs> there are a lot of variables that you need to consider. But as for main points that have proven time and again to help narrow the search, there are three things that you need to consider when doing this search. They are, in this order, the area that the photographer shoots in, the style of said photographer, and your own personal safety. Now before anybody gets upset with that order, your safety is obviously always like the number one priority. But as far as starting with your search of searching through thousands of photographers, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to start off with safety, because this specific technique of searching is sort of a funnel technique, and, and starting with something like reviews first doesn't really help the funnel and narrowing down your search. <laughs> and if you're a little confused with what I'm talking about, I like just bear with me while I explain for the next few moments. <laughs> So the first thing that I recommend doing to help narrow down your cosplay photographer search is figure out who the heck is in your area or like the area that you will be shooting in. Because if a photographer is not in said area, you can't work with them. Like simple as that. <laughs> like, to do this, I recommend searching through a couple of different avenues. Typing in cosplay photographer and the area in which you intend to shoot into a search engine should yield quite a bit of results, because, I mean, I don't know, when I first started cosplaying, it was a little harder to find cosplay photographers, but here in 2020, we got a lot of very public cosplay photographers. <laughs> Checking out other things like convention forums and cosplay social pages can also tell you a lot about where specific photographers frequent. And more importantly, that should point you in the direction of their pages, which will give you even more information. And you know, just asking your friends for recommendations on photographers is, is also a winning method of finding photographers. <laughs> the list goes on and on, but those are a few great ways to start your location-based searching. Now that you've narrowed down the whole world of cosplay photographers to probably much fewer <laughs> that are just in your area, the next thing that you want to consider is their actual photography style. To see their style, all you really have to do is look through their work, which tends to be readily available on websites and various social media pages. After looking through their work, decide if you like their style or not and if it goes with the style of the shoot idea that you have in mind. If you don't like their work, just don't bother. It's not worth it for you or the photographer to do a whole hecking shoot that is not going to yield the results that you want. Everyone has different styles and you're not gonna like everyone's style. And like that is a okay and a great way to help narrow down 
your local photographer list into local photographers that you like list. Also, if a photographer produces work with a style that you absolutely love, but doesn't go with the style of the shoot that you were intending to do, don't bother there either, because it would ultimately yield the same unfortunate end result. Like I said, you should only keep photographers on your list whose style you like and whose style matches the style of the shoot you're going for. This should narrow down your list quite a bit. The last but most important thing that you want to consider when using this funnel to narrow down like a massive list of cosplay photographers to some potentially attainable ones is your own personal safety. Look through as many reviews as you possibly can to see how this photographer works. Search the photographer elsewhere to see if there are any posts on social media or in forums about this photographer's behavior. And this one's a little odd to say, but as there has been a rise in private groups that share bad experiences with photographers in the cosplay community in hopes that some folks sharing their bad experiences could lead to other folks in the cosplay community staying much safer. If you have access to any of those such groups, please also sort through those thoroughly. They can be a great resource. Well, this is the last step in the funnel because it'll really just get you nowhere. It just tells you who not to trust and then you have a list of like negative amount of people and no like decent people. <laughs> this is of course the most important step to consider. Your well-being is always the most important thing. So much more important than just getting cosplay photos in a style you like. So please just take your time sorting through reviews and doing everything that you can to stay safe. And if you happen to see something problematic or worse about a cosplay photographer, do not hesitate to remove that cosplay photographer from your list permanently and share this information with your friends. Lastly, I just wanted to mention here that if a photographer has prices readily available for you to see, you can also incorporate a budgeting step into this funnel. But I find that in my personal experience, you oftentimes have to inquire about a cosplay photographer's prices. So don't be surprised if when you're searching, if you find that that is the case. And when you're narrowing down your list, don't narrow it down completely. Try to keep a couple cosplay photographers in mind at the end, just so you aren't left with like, no options if your top pick just happens to be way out of budget. Which brings us to our next section, booking the actual shoot itself. <laughs> booking a photo shoot is really just gonna be different for every photographer. Some photographers really prefer forms, some prefer email correspondence, and some will book you just straight from their social media DMs. When you book a photographer, please just follow their method of processing requests and be sure to learn their policies while you're at it. Know that photographers don't have to accept all requests. There are a whole heck of a lot of reasons that a cosplay photographer might not accept your request to work with them. So please just be courteous if they happen to decline. And likewise, if you have to decline for, for any reason, let's just say for an example, a photographer is in fact out of your budget, please just be as gracious as you can be when backing out. Another major part of the booking a photo shoot process is of course location scouting, which is something I've done a lot as a photographer and not so much as a cosplayer. And on my part, that's really mostly because I do the scouting as a photographer, like the location so much that I come back there when I book my own cosplay photo shoots. Like I, I have an odd circumstance there. However, regardless of my circumstance, I've worked with a lot of cosplayers who do absolutely no location searching at all, and they always expect photographers to just know great locations for their specific costume. While good photographers will always have location ideas, I really recommend that all cosplayers become a larger part of the location scouting process, which could mean just in the convention off season taking some time to tour a bunch of places that you're interested in, or it could even be a lot chiller than that. It could just be taking photos of places that you find interesting on your morning commute. I think it's really important for you as a cosplayer to know what you want out of a location. So I'm taking a moment here to encourage all cosplayers watching this video to scout locations and communicate your findings with your photographers, at least to more of an extent than I have seen done. <laughs> Lastly, of course, when everything is settled, all contracts are signed, all that jazz, pay your photographer. Just pay in advance. <laughs> 
Honestly, I really want to say here that even though I know some photographers are really lenient and will let you pay in cash the day of, pay in advance or don't even book a shoot. It's just so much kinder than leaving your photographer to be anxious over receiving payment. It's really just not great to leave someone you're working with with the anxiety of, will they flake or not? Will they just have wasted a ton of money and time and given up other potential clients to work with you and, and you didn't even show up? Just all of that is the worst. Please don't leave anyone with that anxiety. I know life happens and sometimes things can be canceled last minute. And I also know that as a cosplayer, other cosplayers are trying to pinch pennies wherever they can for their cosplay budget. But now is not the time to be stingy. When you are going out of your way to work with someone to create a piece of art for you, and they are taking the time to prepare, to work with you the day of, and then put in so much more time on post-production after the fact, while you're ultimately sitting there happily waiting for the results, just pay them up front. It brings so much trust into the photographer-client relationship, and because of this trust, you'll have a much better overall location photo shoot experience for it. Now that you have a photo shoot scheduled, it's important that you as the client are as respectful and as prepared as you possibly can be the day of the shoot. Although their preparations will be much different, good photographers will expect these things of you, but do the same for you in return. General respect, of course, comes through things like common courtesies, like being on time and being polite and communicative when you speak. <laughs> and I hope everybody watching this already knows how to be respectful and just treats folks with respect. So I'm not gonna say any more on this matter. <laughs> However, some other things that you can do to be prepared are prepare your costume and makeup and prepare your poses and basic modeling techniques. Back in the day, I made a whole video about posing for cosplay photos. <laughs> so when it comes to posing, I'm really just, I'm gonna point you in the direction of that video instead of repeating myself, because that would be silly. Although just a heads up, the recording quality of that video is a little low just because it's pretty old. I wanna say it's from like 2017 or something. But the actual content of the video is everything that I would be saying here today. So if you're interested in hearing it, totally check out the uh, little, little card. <laughs> Now for preparing your costume and makeup. <laughs> if you are making your costume, make sure your costume is in fact made. Regardless of my thoughts on Con Crunch, I know a lot of folks still participate in it. However, when it comes to paid location photo shoots, it is extremely disrespectful to be crunching on your costume up until the day or even moments before your shoot. While bringing any sort of level of finished costume to a convention is completely fine and like having it having it break on you midday is also totally fine you can just go to go to cosplay repair and fix it like no big deal having it break in the middle of a location photo shoot is really a completely other thing and is really just not okay it can be such a massive waste of time for the cosplayer and photographer to have something break during a location photo shoot. Like you never want to delay or worse, cancel a shoot mid shoot because of costume malfunctions. So just do everyone involved a favor and please make sure your costume is truly completely made before the location shoot. Now, if you are buying a costume, you're not off the hook here. Please make sure that it is wearable for the shoot, which means trying it on, making any fit adjustments, seeing what pieces may just need a little bit of help with safety pins and such, etc. I remember back in uh, 2014, I think it was, <laughs> the year I safety pinned my Attack on Titan uh, belts to my body. <laughs> just how many other Attack on Titan cosplayers had bought their costume and never tried it on before the day of the convention because so many of them weren't wearing their belts because they just they tried to put them on in the hotel room and couldn't figure it out and just completely panicked and ended up giving up putting them on <laughs> which oh my gosh it was very frustrating to see so many people upset about their costumes but to turn something so negative into something positive, use my telling you about that experience and don't let something similar happen to you. And of course, whether you buy your costumes or make your costumes, please make sure that they are presentable. I say this as a cosplayer, as a photographer, and now technically as a uh, cosplay competition judge. <laughs> Iron your costumes. 
And of course by iron, I mean press, which means iron, steam, dry clean, do whatever you have to do. Just make sure the fabric on your costume is not a wrinkly mess. It's once again just mad disrespectful to show up to a paid photo shoot looking like you just rolled out of bed. <laughs> Unless that's in character, I guess. And, you know these anime kids. I... <laughs> but for real, whether you bought the costume for 10 bucks on eBay or you spent years perfecting these crazy elaborate techniques for an award-winning costume. The quality of the costume, and then of course the photos goes up so much when you just press your garments. It's such a small thing, but I see so many people skip doing this and it really makes such a huge difference. So please, please just take the time to do it. <laughs> and of course, regardless of all of this, please practice your makeup before the day of. <laughs> And like, wear it for a little too. Don't just like, put it on once and then go, that's good, and then wipe it off again. <laughs> it's really important to see how well your makeup lasts throughout the day, just to see if you need to do any touch-ups before starting an actual location photo shoot. I know a lot of folks who wear very little makeup, and I know a lot of folks who consider the makeup part of their cosplay the entire cosplay. <laughs> and regardless of how much the makeup matters to you and how important it is to your costume, this really just goes for all makeup. Other things to remember, the day of the shoot are of course to stay hydrated and healthy and bring a friend. Remember that your health and your safety are number one. Try to avoid problems like headaches and dehydration by going about whatever means necessary. And while you're doing so, just be sure to buddy up. Unless you know the photographer quite well, like they happen to literally be your best friend, <laughs> Having a friend there just to like watch over your bags and ensure your safety when you are in the presence of this photographer is always the way to go. And there you have it folks, my tips for how to prepare for location photo shoots for cosplay. Brought to you by my experiences as both a cosplayer and a photographer. If you are looking into doing location photo shoots for the first time, or just hoping to make your location photo shoot preparation go a little bit smoother, I hope that this video helped you out a little bit. If it did, totally leave a thumbs up and comment what your favorite tip was in the comments section and, you know, like, subscribe and stuff. And if you have any questions about preparing for location photo shoots that were not answered by watching this video, feel free to leave a comment as well. I do look over all of my comments and answer them to the best of my ability, so I, I would be happy to answer your questions. Anyway, there are more cosplay-related videos on this uh, channel where that came from, including how not to do a cosplay photo shoot, <laughs> where you can watch a couple of friends and I do absolutely no prep and have no idea what we're doing and just, like, goof off in the name of cosplay location photo shoots. <laughs> It was really last minute, and mm, don't do what I do in that video. There is a bunny in that video, though, which, I mean, that's a win. I'd watch it, just, I'd watch it again just for the bunny. <laughs> but, like, for real, 10 out of 10 would recommend using the tips that I brought up here and, and actually preparing for your photo shoots. But yeah, needless to say, there are more cosplay-related videos where that came from. Unfortunately, there is still no word on upcoming conventions, as the United States completely sucks and won't take this global pandemic seriously, so everyone's just refusing to deal with the problems well, and everything continues to be cancelled. But I really hope that at some point I will get to see you guys on the con floor again. But for now, with no con floor to actually go to, <laughs> I hope to see you all in my next video. Alrighty. Bye, Manic Fam! <laughs>